Okay, so today we're gonna to learn how to do blazing fast, real time, stable diffusion with Python on Windows with CUDA. So I got a lot of private DMs saying that they would like clearer steps on how to set this up with Windows, especially if it has CUDA. So I made this video for that. Uh, I also got a few DMs saying that my tutorial videos sometimes tend to be a little bit long. So in this case, we're gonna make this one super, super quick. However, if you want a super detailed video on the step-by-step, -step, literally like every single step explaining everything, then check out the old video. I'll put it the link in the description and uh, it should probably be somewhere up here. Okay, let's play. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is navigate to the description and click the coffee link. Select how much you want to pay, but you don't have to. Then go through the steps until you reach the download page. Hit download. Unzip the file and place it in a folder of your choice. I unzipped it and placed the contents in the folder called AI. Done. We next have to ensure that we have CUDA installed. If you don't, then navigate to CUDA Toolkit 12.1 page, then specify your system information and hit download. Click on the installation package and install. Afterwards, a restart might be necessary. So then test whether you have CUDA installed by typing NVIDIA dash dash version. Done. Okay, next, make sure you have two versions of Python installed. One for running the LCM and SDXL Turbo and the other for Stream Diffusion. Go to the Python Windows download page, download Python 3.10.11 for Stream Diffusion and download Python 3.11.6 for LCM and SDXL Turbo. Okay, next, you want to create a models folder in the directory that you transfer the coffee downloads. Make sure you have Git LFS installed. You can download it by going to gitlfs.com downloading and installing. Make sure you CD into the models folder and from there start downloading the models. For the LCM, type git clone and copy and paste the link in the description. For SDXL Turbo, same thing, type git clone and the link that's in the description. And for the control net that we need for the uh, LCM, type git clone and the link that's in the description. When complete, you should see the models inside the models folder. Okay, now we have to create the LCM SDXL Turbo Python environment. To do that, inside the AI directory, not the models directory, type the following. pi-3.11-m vmv lcm underscore sdxl turbo underscore venv. Then activate the environment with the name of the environment backslash scripts backslash activate dot bat. You'll now see a little parentheses in your uh, in your command line telling you that you're inside the environment now. Then pip install the dependencies that are in the requirements.txt file provided. When that's done, we want to ensure that we have the Torch version that's compatible with CUDA 12.1. For that, we will override the installation we just made, so run the following command. This will also be in the description. To ensure that Torch is using CUDA, we want to quickly run Python and check. So in the command line with the environment activated, type Python, type import torch, and then type the following. You should see the output say true. Okay, great, everything is ready. So make sure you have a camera connected to the computer. For this, I found this USB camera lying around and I just plugged it in into the computer. Now we just have to modify the script just a tiny little bit. Open the script in the text or code editor and change the prompt, the height and width, and if you want the inference steps, and conditioning scale. There's a bit of customizability here. Afterwards, set the fixed resolution of the USB camera you have or a resolution of your choice. I set it to 1280 by 768. Save the Python file and then go back to command line and run the LCA, LCM SDXL Turbo script. And boom, you're good to go. You should be flying with a CUDA GPU. Currently, I'm running it on an RTX 4090. This is super fast and you can do tons of different things with it. Okay, next, we're going to set up Stream Diffusion. For this, we will need to create a new Python 3.10 environment. So to do this, type the following. pi-3.10-mvmv stream diffusion underscore vmv. Next, activate the environment by typing the name of the environment backslash scripts backslash activate dot bat. In this case, you can ignore the stream diffusion requirements file that I provided, as this was mostly for the MPS MacBooks. Instead, what we will do next is install CUDA compatible Torch first. To do that, type in the following command. 
As I said before, this will also be in the description. Afterwards, run the following command to install the latest version of Stream Diffusion from GitHub. This will also be in the description. Lastly, install OpenCV so we can access the USB camera. Okay, next, we want to modify the parts of the Stream Diffusion code so that we can take advantage of CUDA. Make sure you change the torch device to CUDA. Then change the camera resolution to 1280 and 768, or as I said before, the resolution of your choice depending on the resolution possible by your connected camera. Finally, you can run the script python webcam underscore diffusion stream diffusion dot pi. And boom, now you are flying. You'll be able to see how fast this thing can generate. So play around with the two setups and find something that works for you and your artistic needs. Play around with the two setups and find something that uh, you like, mess around, uh, change the prompt, the inference steps, start connecting things to a projector, uh, connect this to TVs located at a bar. I've seen this happen, it's awesome. A lot of people like to use Touch Designer for this, but you can also just use it straight from Python code, which sometimes uh, might be easier depending on, the, on what you're trying to do. Uh, so again, I hope this was super useful. Uh, as I said before, if you like this kind of stuff, my brothers and I have been working on a really awesome book, DIY AI. Uh, it's going to help you learn how to do tons of stuff, deep fakes, uh, music generation, uh, tons of stable diffusion stuff, all the coolest stuff that you can do with uh, the current abilities of AI. And uh, you can pre-order it right now. And I hope this was fast enough for everybody. And I hope it was detailed enough. Uh, please let me know if this is too fast or if this is how you like seeing things done because uh, it actually is kind of easier or uh, I don't know. We'll see. We're all learning here. Anyways, thanks again. If you like what you see, again, subscribe, like, comment um, or whatever you want. Uh, anyways, peace.